In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to respec your stats or your attributes inside of Elden Ring and also some locations for larval tiers which you'll need to actually do it. So let's get right into the video. Now, when you are in Elden Ring, you might, middle of the game, decide you want to sort of change the path you're going down. Maybe you want to, uh, you know, do some more magic stuff or maybe you want to do some more strength. Whatever it is, you can change this and you can do this as many times as you want, but you do need to get this one thing called a larval tier. And as I said, I'll show you how to do that in a second. Now, first things first, we're going to actually have to, I've unlocked some place in Elden Ring. We're going to have to have come up here um, and we're going to need to have unlocked this area called the Raya Lucaria Grand Library. And we need to have fought uh, Renala, the Queen of the Full Moon. So... I'll just show you the area here. So this is what the area looks like and basically it's a fight against this boss here. She's actually pretty easy to defeat, you just have loads of people basically shooting books at you. It's a bit, it's pretty easy if you know what you're doing. But basically if you go up to her you can talk to her and you can press this button that says rebirth and you have to use a la larval tier to do this and what it will do is it will open up this window here and it will basically allow you to put all of your points into anything you want to. Uh, the way it works is red means that you're below the points you had before. Um, white means that you are the same amount of points. And then blue means that you are more points than before. Um, but basically you can just respec it, uh, you know, the way you would if you were just leveling up. But to actually go ahead and get this bit, you're going to need to do a few other things. Okay, so first let's get ourselves one of the larval tiers and we can go, there's a few locations we can do this around the map, I'll just show you three here. The first location you want to go into Limgrave here and it's going to be this one called the Ag Hill Lake South. So you just want to teleport to this location and you want to go ahead and turn around and look up the hill here and there'll be some, you know, pretty low level enemies here to fight. You don't actually have to fight them, you can just walk past them. The person we actually need to fight is up here, so I'm just going to follow it around here. And we basically want to go and fight him. And once we defeat him, he will turn into a bear. And then by defeating that bear, we'll be able to get ourselves the tier. So there we go, I've defeated him. And you can see he turns into a bear. Um, defeat the bear, or get hit like me. Uh, I don't know where he's gone. Okay, there he is. So just defeat the bear, and you should be given the tier. Um, or you should drop it. There we go, the larval tier. So that's the first location um, we can go to. And I'll show you another two locations now, just in case you've already got that one, or you just want to find a different location. Okay, so for the next location, you want to go to this area here. It's called Folly on the Lake. Um, and basically, we're going to be trying to travel up to this area here. Uh, this one here, Village of the Albanorix. So we just want to travel that direction. Um, and it's pretty simple to do. You just got to basically travel up like a few ramps and stuff. But you'll get there pretty quickly. So just follow it down here. You'll see this like spiky bit and you'll be, you'll come under this bit, it'll be like a wooden thing up here. Uh, you just want to keep going around here. And we're going to start traveling up here to location. Be careful, there are those like lobster thingies. Um, <laughs> I don't know why there was a huge shadow then. But yeah, just keep making your way up. And you'll get to this area up here. And this is where we're going to find the next one. But basically, you don't have to fight anyone for this. You can just go up here. And it should be around here somewhere. I believe I've already actually picked it up. But um, you can just go up here, pick it up, and that will be the second one. Now, I'll show you one more location that you can get one. Okay, so for this third location, we want to travel over to the third church of Marika. We're basically aiming to go down here, which is the Siofa River Well. So you just want to just want to jump on your horse and travel down to that location. 
down here. And this location is can be a little bit hard if you get lost in it, but just make your way down here and it's not too hard. So just follow where I go um, down this track. Just follow the track down. And it's pretty low level area, so if you've already got to um, the area where you can respec, you should be fine. So just keep following it around. And then we're going to get to this location here. Um, it kind of, it's got like a, it looks like a dome roof sort of thing. And I'll just get around to the door. So this is the location that we're looking for here. I basically just want to enter inside of it. And when we go inside, we should be able to get the next tier. So go here. I'm going to pull the lever so I can go down safely. So basically you need to jump onto this elevator. It takes a long time to go down. But once you get to the bottom, you basically want to go ahead and make your way through this area here. Now for the first bit, you can't actually use your horse. But um, you can run and just basically make your way through here. The enemies in this area can be a little bit tricky. Um, I think there's quite a lot of them that drop down. So they can kind of all attack you at once. But um, yeah, so these guys here, they can be a little bit tricky, but you can just run past them. Just be careful. Um, you can also summon here, so if you want to summon something and run, it might make it be easier for you. But yeah, just try not to get caught up with them. And we just want to make our way all the way up around here. We're going to get up to another lift over here. And we can go ahead, pull this lever here, and we can start using this lift here. Now once you come outside of the lift, you're going to be brought to this area here. This area is very, very strong. Uh, so. Basically, you just want to get on your horse and you're just going to have to run through here as fast as you can. Uh, avoid enemies. There's some invisible enemies here, so just you know, try and stay on your horse and just avoid everything at all costs, really. Um, so we're aiming for this scaffolding over there, you can see. Um, and there'll be some, as I said, there'll be some enemies that are invisible and they'll kind of spawn in. Also, be careful of these things. These will follow you and they'll hurt you. And everything's quite strong here. So I remember when I was first in this area, it was just strong and I was just getting ruined. So basically you want to climb up the scaffolding here. You want to climb up here. You might be able to get this enemy without him seeing you. Then we want to go up this ladder here. All the way to the top. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to drop down. I hope it's not letting me. Okay, so I've just hit him down. And what we're going to do, I'm going to go round here. So we've got a drop down here. Up here. Round here. Straight through here. And we're going to come out here. There should be a vendor around here. And the vendor is going to be able to sell you the tiers for, I think, 3,000 runes. So it's a decent price. So we can just talk to him. Per uh, purchase. And there we go. We've got the tier for 3,000 runes. He also has some other stuff here, like um, stone sword keys. Uh, yeah, just some other items here that you might want to get. So that's basically some locations for the tier and then you can go ahead and use those for respecking. but now from here we can just go to the point i showed you earlier um you can respect your character there and then you can just do this as many times as you have uh these tiers so if you enjoyed the video and found it useful be sure to like and subscribe comment down below that helped and thank you for watching